Here, we've got a great weekend here for all of our festivals, whether you're staying in town, maybe you're heading up to Ponchatoula for the Strawberry Festival or the Lafitte Seafood Festival. A lot going on. 77 today, 81 tomorrow, 81 on Sunday. Lots and lots of sunshine, so don't forget your sunscreen. Quick update on our severe weather we had Wednesday. We still only have our two confirmed tornadoes in our local area. The big one was an EF2 on 120 mile per hour winds there for parts of Slidell. Moved up towards the Mississippi River. Now, the National, Her or the National Weather Service is still surveying two areas of damage uh, near Stennis and the kill. They're waiting to see if those are from a tornado and if it is the same tornado, we will let you know. But you can see another tornado reported there in Harrison County. So that was a fairly long track sale that produced quite a bit of damage across parts of St. Tammany, Hancock and into Harrison counties. Thank goodness all that mess is gone. We got a beautiful afternoon. Lots and lots of sunshine. You're not really going to see a cloud in the sky today. We've got temperatures increasing 71 in New Orleans, 70 Mandeville, 74 in Laplace and our cool spot still hanging on to 69 up in Macomb, but it really is a lovely afternoon and this is what we get the rest of the day. Temperatures will probably warm several more degrees. The sun doesn't go down until after 8 o'clock tonight, so it'll be a nice one. And then once the sun does go down, I think it's going to get a bit chilly. I've got 58 on the south shore tonight and 48 on the north shore, so we'll cool back off. Once again, put the sunscreen on or wear the cap because our UV index about a 10 today, and that means your burn time can be as quick as in like 10 to 20 minutes. And it's just that time of year. We're outside having a good time. It doesn't feel that hot, so you don't really think about the sun, but it's still burning. Yeah, and that's exactly what we get through the rest of the weekend here. UV index near 10. Great news. Rain is not going to be in the forecast for at least the next five days or so. I do have a chance of rain next Wednesday and Thursday, but looks like we're going to miss the majority of this storm system. Take a look at this big bowling ball of low pressure moving across the west and then the plains. This is going to produce severe weather to our north. Now what's going to happen with this going to lift away from us, so we're not expecting big storms, but I do think we could see a few showers on the tail end of that system by Wednesday and Thursday. Where are the big storms going to be with this one? Well, it's Got our eyes set on Tornado Alley, classic system here from uh, North Texas, Oklahoma and Kansas. Notice already an elevated risk of severe weather there on Monday. Tuesday that all shifts to the east. Chicago, St. Louis and Memphis are going to be under the gun there by the uh, Tuesday time frame. So that's where a big part of the worst weather is going to be with that storm system. And thank goodness it's not heading our way. We need a break. So 77 today, lots of sunshine, 81 tomorrow, 81 on Sunday. A great weekend with Lots of sunshine and the humidity will be a tad bit higher this weekend, but still good for our standards. And then next week we are in the mid 80s with higher humidity and it'll probably even feel like the 90s at times. Marine forecast looking a lot better here. Our pressure is rising at 30.2 inches. We've got a light chop today, a light chop tomorrow and same thing on Sunday. You can see your winds starting to shift out of the southeast there by Saturday and Sunday. That's when the moisture starts to increase ever so slightly. Your tides for your Friday are going to be running highest this afternoon, starting right now along the coast about four or five o'clock this afternoon for the lakes and your low tide. Those are going to happen late tonight. For most, it'll be after midnight into the early morning hours on Saturday. And if you're watching the Mississippi River, it is low. It's sitting below six feet right now, but it is expected to rise to about 10 in a couple of weeks. Peyton, thank you.